There's hail. There's like little chunks of ice coming down a minute ago. It's actually slowing down. Oh, look at the ice. The hail. You can hear it. I'm sitting in my car. But there's chunks of hail coming down. In the middle of summer. Well, um, this is the uh, ceiling fan, and I've got a bunch of magnets in there. I think I got 16 magnets. It worked out pretty good because there's 16 coils in there. So, uh, yeah, it worked out pretty good. There's a bit of a gap between the magnets and the coils, but not much. I didn't have enough neodymium magnets, I didn't have enough of those, and I tried to buy more, and they were st the store was sold out. So I'm using ceramic magnets, and they're the ones that I'm using are pretty tall, so this doesn't sit all the way down onto the top bearing. So it's actually rotating on the bottom bearing only, but uh, I know these look like they're touching, but they're not even close. Even on that angle, they look like they're touching, but they're not even close. But anyway, I'm running, uh, there's two sets of coils, and I'm running them in series. So the blue and white is one set of coils, and the black and red is the inner coils. The blue and white seems to uh, produce the most because it's closest to the magnets, but uh, if I put them in series, I get more voltage. So just spinning it by hand, if I spin it like kind of quick like that, I can get 48. 48 uh, volts pretty easy and it's being held in the vise by the ceiling fan holder there so I went and I held on to that and I and I put it up against the exercise bicycle there's an old exercise bicycle that I'm gonna probably mount this to and uh, there's a resistance wheel that goes up against the bicycle tire and I might just use this for the resistance wheel so when you turn the tire it turns this in the opposite direction sort of but yeah when I put it on the bicycle it produced I was I was pedaling uh, it was pretty hard to do because I'm clumsy and I'm trying to hold the wires and hold the motor and pedal and read the voltage but I was getting 80 volts so just pedaling easy I was getting 80 volts so I'm thinking that uh, if I can mount it and maybe pedal harder I could probably produce 100 volts with this thing but I'm not gonna use it for making AC it is making AC and it is putting out close to 100 volts AC which is your like your household power but I'm gonna rectify it into to uh, 12 volts DC and use it to charge a battery bank I think but it is making power it's making lots of power actually if I spin it and touch those together they can't they can't reach each other because this one's further away it makes a little bit of a spark so there's quite a bit of power there I don't know if I can do it right now with one hand or not I can certainly try Yeah, there's a little bit of spark there. I can hear it. I can see it. It might be hard to see on camera, but this thing is definitely producing some juice. Okay, I'll hold these up and use spinner. 19 volts. 
23 volts. Spinner faster, man. 34 volts. 33 volts. 33. Oh, I can spin it up to 50, man. You can't spin it better than that. Try again. 41. That was the best yet. Okay. Alright, I'm sitting on this exercise bicycle and I've got this ceiling fan alternator in my hand for now. Wires are hooked up and I've got this uh, voltage meter here. This is going to be tricky because I'm holding the camera. I'll pedal it a little bit. Yeah, this is tricky. Wow, this is not easy. I need to mount mount this thing so I don't have to hold it. Or so I, maybe so I don't have to hold the camera, I can hold the handlebar. <laughs> Well, here's the exercise bike. The speedometer works. Oh, well, it did work anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe I wrecked. Maybe I wrecked it. But I mounted the uh, ceiling fan alternator onto the. What is this? The tensioner. So, if you turn the tensioner, which way is it? This way. Turn it this way. It just starts. It puts weight down on the wheel and starts spinning. I don't know what happened to the speedometer. It was working. I'm only pedaling with one foot right now, but yeah. Sun's shining. Birds are tweeting. With the slight chance of tornado. I don't know what's going on over there. Alright, I got the multimeter out and I hooked it up to this AC fluorescent light here. And I'm going to pedal it with one foot. As soon as I hit 50 volts, the light comes on. Anyway, I can't 
I'm shaking all over the place pedaling. I'm only pedaling with one foot, but you can see the light come on. And I did hit over a hundred volts. I think I hit 120. Well, uh, I pedaled it backwards and it seems to make more power backwards, or a little bit more. About the same, but it seems to be a little bit easier to generate the same amount of power. But it doesn't matter because it's an alternating current or an alternator. So, I got the ceiling fan for free from scrap. I got the bike for free from scrap. Uh, I had to pay for the magnets. And that's it. Now I'm generating power. I'm standing beside the bike here right now, but... generating power there's the light the lights on you can see if I slow down that the light kinda dims down a little bit but I'm barely like it's pretty easy to pedal there's not much resistance but the faster I pedal the brighter it gets so yeah uh, making something out of nothing once again, making power. I'd like to rectify this and charge 12 volt batteries, but that's going to be it for now. It works, it generates power. I had it up to 110, 120 volts, which is 120 AC. That's the same as what's in your house, household power. Oh my goodness. Is it nap time for the buddy? Did I wake you up? I see your tail wagons. Oh, are you all wet and muddy? Oh, goodness.